Hey guys, so today we're going to be showing you how to make one of these uh, female internet ports. Uh, this is usually the one that goes in your wall um, on your house. Uh, we're going to be showing you how to make this. It's actually pretty simple and I just hope you guys enjoy it. So the first thing that we're going to need is the um, Cat5 or Cat6 cable and we are going to use one of these tools um, which I guess you guys remember from the other video and basically what, what you do is there's a, there's a little cutter inside and you place this about we want to say about like three or four fingers down um, and you just spin it around a few times and, uh, and you're gonna see they make some mark um, and that's where you break it the other option is to use a regular razor knife and you do the same thing you just gotta be a lot more careful you place the knife and you go around you spin it around the cable a few times and you know once you do that then all you gotta do is just break the cable and then um, you can cut this off. We don't need this. Just be careful not to get the wire. And once you do that, you're gonna see that there's four pairs of wires. Blue, orange, green, and brown. And we want to uh, separate all these wires. Uh, the next step is to get our RJ45 connector. You know, one of these guys. Um, we're gonna have everything in the in the notes, all the information you need to buy these. Um, that's that's what they look like. And right here in the back, they have the letter A and B. Basically, these are the ways to um, to connect them. You can either use A or B for residential and most of the commercial settings. We're gonna use the B settings. Um, if you look here, B is in the middle, so starting from this side is blue, white, blue, green, white, green. On that side, coming back is orange, orange, white, brown, white, and then brown. Um, the, what I usually do is I actually put this with the plate. This is the plate that's going to be going on the wall, and we're going to use this just as a way to... Um, to stabilize the wire, uh, the cable as we connect it. Um, so if you look at this plate, you're gonna see there's an arrow that says up, and what we do says up on the connector as well. So you just match those, and you start with the bottom part first, and then the top, and it just snaps in place. You can buy these plates in single, double, and you know, and, and even more connectors. Anyways, as we do that, um, now we're gonna start making the connections. So again, following the diagram, we um, I usually start from the closest, you know, the side closest to me. So in this case, we want to go blue, and you just use your nails and just push it in. So blue, and the next one is gonna be white blue. And then green. White green. And this side is brown. White brown. Uh, then the next one is going to be white orange and orange so if you um, if all you have is a knife you can make it work by just using the back of the knife to push these cables down and just use that to push all of them down um, and then using any type of pliers to just cut the excess wire. 
Um, but if you, um, if you figure you're gonna be doing a few more of these and you actually wanna buy the, the tool for the job, this is what you need to get. This is a punch down tool. Um, in this case, it comes with a few different ends. The one that you wanna use, it's this size, this side. And all you do is using the, if you look at it, there's one side that's flat and there's a side that, ha that extends a little bit more. That's actually the side that cuts the wire. So we want that facing outside of the connector. So all you do is you just push it down and it's gonna make a clicking noise. So you can, and then you can do that all around the connector. It's usually supposed to cut the wire, but if, if it's a little older, then you might, uh, <laughs> might need to do it a few times. Once you get to the other side, make sure to flip it. Again, cutting side towards the outside. Just wiggle a little bit and you should break. Once you're done with that, um, the little cap goes on top. Usually the open side goes towards the cable. And that just, you just snap it in place. And, um, and that's basically it.